Some South Carolina cities are already seeing flooding before Debbie even makes landfall. Outside Charleston to Myrtle Beach in Georgia, people have been dealing with floodwaters. And you can see some of the people here resorting to using larger vehicles just to get through the water. And some roads in Georgia have been completely washed away. Now, Debbie is bearing down on the PD region of South Carolina, making its way inland to Florence County. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy is live in Florence for us. So, Robin, what are we seeing there? Yeah, Annie and Brian, the rain is starting to pick up here and we'll see a little bit of a lull and then we'll just get heavy downpour. So that's been off and on all afternoon long and you can see that that wind is really whipping up and picking up again against those flags and tossing them around right now. And I can tell you that Florence County, they are ready for whatever Debbie will bring because they have crews that have traveled hundreds of miles away from home to help out here in Florence. Again, this rain just off and on all day here. Big batches coming down in Florence County. The concern is that could lead to flooding of the major rivers in the PD region. Came all the way from Tennessee to help. And they're stationed at the House Springs Fire Department with two teams and a crew of 24 people specializing in rescuing people trapped by the floods and getting people out of fast moving floodwaters. It could be super important to have extra teams and that way not one team is getting burned out. Um, we don't really want to work more than 12 hours at a time. And sometimes when you get out there, um, you can, it's easy to get out in the field and work for an extended period of time. And you need the downtime. Now, Florence County is under a mandatory curfew. That's from sundown to sunup here. And the reason they do that is because the storm can be most dangerous at night. People aren't able to see when they're driving, so they just want people to be out if they're traveling to work. I'm live in Florence, South Carolina. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.